So today I wanted to talk about the pause function in Path of Exiles 2. Is it bad? Is it wrong? Does it take away from the Path of Exile experience? Should it in fact be removed? Now my opinion, not fully. The pause feature is a massive improvement for a lot of players out there. However, there is some things in hardcore mode that I'd like to discuss later on. Let me know your thoughts. Always actually good to hear what the community is thinking and not just what us content creators think. So make sure to comment down below. So there is a small part of the Path of Exile community. These players believe that the pause feature takes away from what the Path of Exile is. Even though logout macros exist and are heavily used, we'll have some more on that later. What they believe is the pause function will allow players to freeze frame enemy boss fights and go frame by frame and be able to somehow figure out exactly what a boss will do when the boss will do it and be able to smash through some world first in a cheesy way. This is kind of not confirmed. We don't know what the pause screen is going to look like. It could be blurred. It could be anything. My opinion on this, nearly every single pause screen I've ever used blurs or blocks the entire screen behind it. And I very much doubt the pause would allow full view of the entire fight to make this discernible in any way. However, there is the chance it could be the case, but I highly doubt it. The pause feature is so hated by some players that Ben even went as far to say that when he gets to the final boss that he would pause it 500 times until they remove this feature. I'm going to abuse the fuck out of it as much as I can, as egregiously as I can on stream, to hopefully uh make it look awful that's the goal I, like i, I want to fight a boss fight and pause 500 times and have nothing but flame in the chat and in the comments and everywhere with many other content creators and streamers in path of exile one community mimicking this and even called for in-game protests in some cases as funny as that would be to watch players ruin their early access time on something that they do not have to use is beyond me However, and I want to say this clearly, and this might upset some people, I do not think pause, checkpoint escape, or logout macros should be able to be used in hardcore at all. But Sovereign, even if they escape with their lives, they lose the boss and block the map. Well, to that I say this, you can reset the Atlas infinitely and just start again at any point. So jumping out every time before you die, either by using a logout macro with the new pause feature, trivializes hardcore mode and makes it kind of pointless. You will literally never die and you will never be blocked out of any content ever. The functions themselves actually just make hardcore softcore with a different title. Again, just my opinion. Let's look at the definition of hardcore mode in games. The player is not given the option to respawn upon death. Anything that could cheese this by allowing the player to escape death is using a third party macro or checkpoint escape feature to forfeit the boss should not be considered hardcore anymore. At least in my opinion. And I'm a hardcore player. And no, I'm not good at it. Yes, I die all the time. It's actually what I enjoy about it. I actually brought this up with a streamer for Path of Exile during one of their streams as they were talking about pause and logout macros and how pause is way worse than logout macros, which I will argue is the most terrible take on the subject. Some may agree, some might not. Because I got shit on just for asking the question, I went on saying that it defeats the point of hardcore modes in the first place. And opinions are like arseholes. We all have one. The streamer first said to me, link your Path of Exile profile, bro. I bet you don't even hardcore. And giggled to themselves while waiting for their chat to agree with them. It was actually kind of embarrassing to watch. Character dies, you lose your character. That's the literal definition that everybody follows. How come you guys who don't even play hardcore can have this like... See, this is like, this is all people who don't play hardcore, right? Am I right? Link your PoE profile. There, it is a very small minority of hardcore players who actually complain about logout macro. They're, they do exist. They do exist. I will admit, very rare. So. But actually, it didn't happen completely. Even some subscribers were saying that logout macros were cheesy. They then went on to say who wants to sit and farm for two weeks to fight a boss and overlevel it, creating Microsoft Paint breakdowns of how and why their opinions is the only thing that is right. This is kind of a problem in and of itself in some dark corners of the Path of Exile community where elitism reigns king. But I have to say, 99% of Path of Exile community is helpful and willing to do anything for other players. 
even now at this point, while you are watching this video, I bet there is a comment down below calling me out as a softcore player who does not even play hardcore or you wouldn't think that logout macros are bad for the game. And if you haven't, it's because you're about to write it. Now, there were a few examples given by Rex, who, by the way, I really enjoy watching his content and he makes some really good points. Should check him out. I'll leave a link for his channel in the description. One of these examples was a memory game that was in Path of Exile 1. Because imagine you're fighting Maven from PoE 1. And if you don't know PoE 1, Maven has like a Simon Says game where you have to memorize where certain lights are and then go run along those certain lights. Well, what you can do is every time a light goes up, you can just pause the game and think about it. Okay, it lit up on left. Okay, left, left. Okay, unpause. Oh, top. Okay, left, left, top. Okay, unpause. This is a great point. However, we do not know that these kinds of puzzles will even be in the game. And I'm sure GGG thought about this when they were deciding to implement it. There were other examples about pausing to think about timings and what you're going to do before getting melted by an attack. Probably a pretty shit take on my part, but this only really matters for pinnacle end game, high level, high stakes content. The pause feature will help a lot of players for a lot of reasons and GGG implemented it for a reason. One commenter saying, being able to pause is a great feature. I doubt it's going to be cheesed other than by streamers and racers, so who cares? It's better for 99.99% .99 of the player base by having it as it should stay. I don't care if Ziz is going to cry about it, I just want a game that more people can enjoy, not a game some streamers want to farm more content from. GGG actually implemented it for lag, disconnects and while not saying it, likely to help give more access to the dad gamer who may have emergencies and have to leave at a moment's notice. As stated by this following commenter, Pause is a godsend for the average player. I feel like the worry about races and stuff like that is legit, but it is a bit selfish. I feel like you can disable pause in certain scenarios, but removing pause altogether is bad. And also another one saying, Pause is a quality of life feature that I, and I suspect a lot of people will be really happy is a thing. Sure, it might get some perceived negative effects for a tiny segment of the player base, but you can't design a game around them. At least not if you want a game to achieve mainstream success. Just my two cents. Now, the developers did not implement it for abuse. No developer does. Again, I would even argue that logout macros are abuse, but hardcore players and these streamers have been using that for years. The reason these hardcore players say that logout macros are okay, and I heard this from a few of them, not just one in particular, actually a few streamers and content creators during videos and watching lives is because they don't want to have to farm for weeks to level up and gear up to beat a boss. Nobody wants to do that, which to me is absolutely insane that someone who wants to play hardcore would even think that it's literally the point before you fight a boss, you level up, you gear up, you focus on your build, looking at ways to make it stronger, better, more efficient, and then you fight. Sometimes you are overprepared and sometimes you have not prepared enough and get ass blasted in the first 15 seconds of the fight. It's what makes the difference between softcore games and hardcore game modes in the first place. And also what makes it so much fun. You get a real sense of achievement doing it. Man, I worked really damn hard to get this boss down. Whether it's learning a new skill, like looking out for boss mechanics before they happen, learning to dodge at the right times, leveling, gearing, or figuring out the best build for your playstyle. All of these things make playing hardcore worth it. There is a really weird part of the Path of Exile community of content creators that I feel just don't want to put the work in between their video drops. Again, just my opinion, I don't think everyone who uses the macros feels this way. There are content creators like Darth Microtransaction who said multiple times that he felt he had to use the logout macros out of necessity. Now some of you may call this pandering to the community who want the pause function, but I do think there is some backbone to what he said. This is also some part on grinding gear games who, while having the six portal time boss mechanics in the first place, still allow players to use and abuse the logout macro in hardcore modes. And I bet these same people, not all of them of course, who are complaining about pausing will abuse the hell out of escaping a boss fight legitimately so they don't die in hardcore, using the escape back to checkpoint feature to save themselves from death and having to start again in hardcore. Tell me how that makes sense. So let's talk about what can be done and there are a few options GGG can go with. Number one, they can remove pause from anything above softcore and only allow it in that game mode. 
The reason they implemented it in the first place is for server issues and lag issues during play which can lead to death of a character which only really makes any difference in hardcore anyway. And keep the escape checkpoint feature within every mode so they can. Everyone, not just people who learn to use the macro, can use that feature. Number two, they can remove all these features from hardcore and above so no pausing, no checkpoints, no macros. Number three, they can add a new game mode and keep both softcore and hardcore with all features. Four, they can just keep with the vision of the game they have and not change a thing. Or five, do not allow any of the features in Pinnacle Endgame content, whether it's softcore, hardcore, or any other game mode. Pinnacle content should be free of all cheese mechanics. I am more going towards removing these features from hardcore and above as this content is meant for that type of hard gameplay anyway. I do believe the pause is needed, it has its place, it should 100% be there, just not in hardcore. If there are any other options, let me know down below, interaction is key. Now the main point a lot of people against the pause function is lowering the integrity of the game, lowering the integrity of the kill, of the skill. And to that I say, you use logout macros. Thanks for watching.